Hello Heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, Saturday edition, where in 15 minutes a day, or a little bit more, I will be able to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. So when I'm waiting for everybody to get on, uh, thank you so much. It's a weekend edition. We've been really rocking the one month to win hero series in the IamHero.com forward slash free series. Uh, I believe episode 44 came out yesterday, which was totally awesome. Uh, love it. These guys are doing such a great job. And uh, it's, it's just been great, you know. So hope you guys have good plans for Father's Day. Today, what I, I, I've been approached uh, so many times. So many of you have said, hey, listen, do you have, uh, when's your next seminar? What are the things you're going to be doing? And I give a lot of thought to that, you know, as far as seminars and programs, things that we're developing for the whole hero thing. And in developing an actual program, the, w the way I do it, in developing any type of online program or product, you need to have, you need to test it out, you know, with real people, just not myself and those around me. So that's why uh, what I would like to do is I want to do a one-time mastermind. Now, a one-time mastermind, we will, I'll have more of those, but just in the beginning, it would be a one-time hero mastermind where I'm going to go through all the concepts, not just the concepts we teach on 15 Minute Fuel, like literally taking a person from point A to point Z all the way through, uh, using the concepts, the programs, the technology we developed to be able to get them exactly where they want to be. It's not really for everybody, okay? But because it's not for everybody doesn't mean that if you're watching this and it's not for you, you still can't learn from some of the concepts. So the people who know they're right for this, it's going to be easy. It'll be a no-brainer. And uh, for those that aren't ready yet, you're still going to get some really great value. So I'll just kind of go over the overview of what it's, what it's about. It really is for the person that you're sitting there and you do have a good job, right? Things are going well. You're blessed. You achieved a lot of things. Um, great family. You know, you got security. You, there's comfort there. But there's this, this thing going on. If you, like I said, you're grieving your potential. There's this, because that's a thing. You have this feeling on the deep, deep down inside that says, you know, there's just something I'm unfulfilled. There's this divine discontent. There's got to be more. Or, or this, this anxiety. Or I used to feel like there was this stuff in the basement. I had, see, I'm using these ter this terminology because I couldn't put my finger on it. And as a chiropractor, I always look for cause. So I'm having this cause, so I know, it, I know it's not a, an emotional, a chemical thing. I'm like, is this a midlife crisis? Is, am I getting burnt out? Am I losing my purpose? And I realized that all those emotions was really my body telling me something. It was, it was my body waking up to a, a real truth that I was just really grieving my potential. Like here, you know, yes, I had great achievements and I've done a lot. And for those of you out there who have, but there was just more. And I had taken on, I realized I took on a secret identity because I was based on my identity of what I did as a profession. So my profession identified who I was. So if the office was doing good, or that meant that I would do good. If the office wasn't doing as well, that meant I wasn't doing as well. So my identity was wrapped up into that DR next to my name versus who I was created and destined to be. So here for me, you know, for me to make the potential, I was inspired by so many people doing big things around the world. So for me to reach my potential, for me to be a thought leader, for me to do things bigger outside even the health and wellness field, it meant that I had to lose my identity because I had based it in something that was false. And I just got scared. I mourned and I, I shrunk back. And I know a lot of and this is just not, and by the way, I want to make, really make it clear, this is nothing to do with chiropractors. This is nothing to do with anybody but a human being. This is anybody who's in their profession or in their job, and they know something's got to change, or they agree with the potential that they know they're destined for something bigger and better, but they just don't know how to do it. Or you've been used to your profession for so long. I'm really good at what I do. So for me to step out of the comfort and the torment of what I do, meaning that I'm great at what I do, to actually go into something new and different and bigger, it could get a little scary, but it's so worth it because you just know that if you don't move forward, if I, if I, if I run out of time, I don't want to live in regret. So the risk is totally worth it. So what the, what the Hero Rising experience is, it's going to be for just 10 people. That's all 10 individuals where you come together and you want to answer the question, 
hey, listen, I feel I'm grieving my petition. Like, you know, the words I'm saying, those of you that are that that need that are ready for this, you know, it's hitting you in the head, right? It's like, yes, I am grieving my potential. I know there's more, uh, but I just don't know what. There you go. So what is the what? How do I do it? That's what the Hero Mastermind is for. When we get together with like-minded heroes, and then we're all, we're not struggling, we're all taking off the secret identity, and it's going to be sad, right? I mean, you're going to, you're just not grieving your potential, but when you've been attached to something so long, it's going to feel sad, but that's okay. It's like ice melting, right? You know, when I take out a part of me, it's like ice and it melts into the water. So we're the river, right? So when the ice melts into it, that's it. So that, that thing that you take away to move forward, yeah, it's all part of the, the moving forward. So we get to sit down and we get to mastermind. And, and it's, again, it's not about chiropractic. We, we just sit there and first embrace the hero mindset. You know, what, what, number one, what are the signs that we're living a secret identity? Let's, let's, let's first be aware of it. Knowing that the secret identity is your friend. Well, it's not your friend. It's, it's, it's a protective mechanism. I think that's best to say there. Where it's what we've done to protect ourselves. And I even found myself personifying my office. You might have heard me say that before. I said I had a dysfunctional relationship with my office. Think about that. I said I had a dysfunctional relationship with my office. Or the office always demanded. Like, this, like my office is a person. Even my verbiage and the beliefs I had was never. See, my office is, is wood, some uh, aluminum beams, some carpet. It's not a person. I almost did the same thing people do with cancer. You know, I, I see a billboard that says, we're beating cancer. Like, cancer's a person. It's not an emotional state. It's a disease process. It has no emotion. My office is a building. There's no heart. There's no spirit in my office. But yet, to deal or to compensate or to um, I, stay in denial of where I was at, I actually put the responsibility and I created, a, I created an entity called the office. Like it was this person. But you know, what the, you know, you know, this, this, you know this office that was um, stealing my identity, this office that was taking everything out of me? It wasn't the office, it was me. Isn't it amazing that we could personify something like, say, this cancer, we're gonna, I'm going to beat cancer to death. You're fighting yourself. So in the awareness going, well, wait a second, I don't even realize my verbiage that I'm personifying something that is just a reflection of me. And then you become aware going, wait a second, this office never stole from me. It never, it never made me work hard. It, I did. That was me. But I was taking off the responsibility. And so when you're aware of it, it's so freeing and liberating. So we go through these things. We find out the secret identity in our lives to be aware of it. And then when we're aware of it, then we could, we could embrace it, love it. And just like an ice cube, it'll melt away. We let it go. And we become, we become our whole self again. So we go through the hero mindset. There's many things we have to go through the hero mindset. So we work on that. Um, we let go of things that defined us in the past and we, and then we, we move forward to embrace the unknown, meaning that all the fears of the unknown is where God's at, the genius is at, the story is at, it's all there, the unknown, we get excited for it. And then we start to embrace the traits of the hero that we have. You know, what, what is, and then we have to sit down and say, well, what are our unique gifts and talents? When it comes to a hero in the mindset, remember that the hero mindset is the common trait of all the heroes. All the heroes have a common mindset, but the superpowers are what make, makes us unique, right? Just think about it. All heroes have that similar same hero mindset, but our, our unique gifts and talents make us unique. And that's what makes it beautiful right there. So we see, level. Well, we can get the mindset, we nail that down, we develop that, then we'll sit and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll really pull out your unique hero mind, your, success, your, your qualities and traits, and a lot of times it's very difficult for you to pull it out on your own because A, your gifts and talents you take for granted. So you don't even see them as a gift and talent. B, your secret identity stops you from seeing the truth. C, we have to understand when you're in the bottle, you can't see the label, right? So you can't see those gifts and talents. So we provide and say, listen, this was the signpost of your life. My whole entire life, my signposts were, I had discipline. I, I would speak for things I believed in. I, uh... I was relentless on certain things and, and all these traits and qualities and speed of implementation, it was, it was always the signpost of my life. So when you, when you realize and you look back, 
your, your qualities, your traits, your superpowers, they were always there, but you were blinded to them. So now when you're aware of them, it's all waking up. Wow, that was, that was God showing me. I, I did live my traits my entire life, but I didn't see them for what they were. And then we see the patterns, and then we develop a stand. So a hero, remember, a hero doesn't fight for something that they love. What I mean is like, they don't say, ooh, this is a good, it's not a lovey feely thing. We develop your stand or your purpose, your new stand. Because a hero fights for something to become a potentialist at. They say, this is what I believe in. I see there's injustice here. This is my song, this is my message, I need to get to the world, and they, and they have a stand for it. And uh, you get to the point where you, you see the future of what you're capable of being greater than where you're at right now. But it's all, it's all part of the, 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 the conversion or, or the process of to, to be the hero. Um, so yes, yeah, so we embrace the hero mindset. We, we check out unique vehicle superpowers. And then what we'll do is we'll sit and we'll really work on the monetization of this because everybody wants to know, well, I don't know what's next. Okay, you do know, number one, choose to remember. Everybody knows. If I asked you seriously, you, you know, right? And you'll be like, yeah, I do know. You do know. You, you know. So you're going to choose to know. So we'll make you choose to know and remember. And then when you have your, set, your mindset, the superpowers, the unique gifts and talents, so now we need to find your vehicle of influence. So we talk about that, but I'm going to help you find and truly nail down your vehicle of influence, meaning that this is something where the connections come into play. So if you're a writer, I'm going to make sure you, you find the best people to allow you to become the best writer, blogger, article writer, if that's the way you're gonna get your vehicle out, to be the, write the book. Maybe you guys have that book in your heart, you write it now. Um, if it's speaking or video, I'll, I'll get you and connect you and help you work on finding the best way to develop the skills and talents. Because the purpose of the hero is to remember, not discover, remember unique gifts and talents. Remember a hero, in every hero move, they remember. It's not about discovering, they remember. You know, what happens a lot of times heroes, if they do get that superpower, the superpower only enhances what they remembered. They were always some, someone for justice and peace and, and contribution and great achievement and nobility. The superpower just enhanced it, but it was always them. If it's speaking, we'll show you how to speak. We'll get you there. We'll, I'll connect you to the right people. If you want to get on stages, I'll connect you to the right people. If you want to do video, we'll, we'll get that where you need to be because that's a lot of things. So you go from I don't know to I do know, I do remember, this is exciting to me. This is now my message and my purpose. Here are my vehicles. Well, I don't know how to get the vehicle out. Okay, that's the fog, right? We talked about fears and fogs. Don't worry about what well, we're going to clear the fears and fogs by bringing the team in because the hero has a team. And whether so it would be video writing, speaking, uh, webinars, podcasting, tech stuff, whatever that is that gets you, that makes you just get anxious because you don't, you don't know how to do it, we'll, we'll provide you. I can't do it for you, I'm not gonna do it for you, but I'll provide you the connect, the relationship capital to connect you with those people or to the programs to develop those areas to make them very clear. It takes all the friction away so you could go, you could go full speed ahead in doing exactly what you were created to do. So now, because I know the thing, people say, Dr. Z, through this whole journey, I know there's something deep inside, but I just don't know what it is. You do know, choose to remember. And then I need to make you very clearly in a very controlled, beautiful setting to be able to say, you know, this is who I am really. This is who I always was. And I have to let some things go. And it's like ice melting. It's, it could be painful, but it's so freeing. And then when you embrace that hero mindset, you know your super gifts and talents. And then we find you the vehicle to go out and not only do what you love to do, but also that fourth pillar has to be monetizing, right? Because you know, for those of you that are doing well and you are comfortable, see the comfort is what? You know, you, the comfort is the income. The comfort is the security of the job. That this, the, the, the comfort is that you wake up tomorrow and you know things will be there. But the torment of it isn't worth it anymore, right? And so now we'll be able to show you how you could then go into what you, your next act, whatever that is created to be, your hero, and then be able to deliver it, bring value to people, and literally create an amazing career that's scalable, and what I mean by scalable is some of you are in a brick and mortar, like me. I'm, I'm brick and mortar. I leave, you know, I'm, there's the office. I can't scale it. I can, but it's really tough. But how about be able to take our message and make it scalable to where 
you could be virtual anywhere in the world. You could be providing value and getting your message across, whatever that might be. See, this is the stuff that you dream of doing. And the thing is, the reason why we don't do it is because we get scared. We shrink. We shrink back. That's what we do versus going for it. But the fact that, you know, you have a team and you have a leader and people in your life that are willing to say, hey, listen, here's the door. Let's open it together and we help each other. You'll be able to rise. So that's why we're only accepting 10 people. And the reason why it's 10 people is because through this hero mastermind, the 10 people will provide great feedback. We'll actually see it work in real time. It'll be videoed and then I'll be able to develop the curriculum from it. So, you know, we, we do this, we get feedback. It's like a beta test group. And uh, in, in the, uh, I know in the copy that you saw, if you saw the video and you saw everything like that, you know, you see, well, what is the mastermind going to cost? And what's a cost isn't really the right question. It's what it's worth. And if you're not ready for it, it's not, you don't really get much value because let's say you're cranking, you're doing great and you're not, you know, you're good. You don't have this, you're not grieving anything. You're doing wonderful. So you wouldn't find the value in it. You got to ask what it's worth. And what it's worth, and for me, I, I remember I got to the point, and if, if you're there, you know this feeling. I got to the point where I told Whitney, I'm like, I'm willing to sell the house and sell everything to move forward versus staying the same exactly where I'm at because I don't, I, I choose not to have this feeling anymore. And, I, and I'm not running out of time, but I feel like I'm running out of time. And I, I, I can't, there's no exit strategy. I got to move forward and I need your support to support me, Whitney, to to take the risk on me. You know, you know me for 13 years or 14 years. Are you willing to take the risk on me? And she's like, well, what's the risk on? I don't know. <laughs> what are we betting on? I don't know, but I know it's gonna be amazing and great if you give me some time and patience and allow me to move forward into the unknowns. And she supported it. But you have to get to that breaking point where you know you were created and destined for great things and you were born heroically to do what you're called to do and you gotta embrace it. So the mastermind, you know, the main masterminds where I start to do them after I do internet programs, books, and all this other stuff, they'll probably be $20,000 in the mastermind. I know for some of you guys, you're hearing it. And I, because I know the doctors on the line, they hear the 20000 and you hear, it's common, right? That's a common thing. But for, for others watching this, you're like, holy cow, 20000 But you have to understand that in, in that world, like when you, go, when you get up in that world, most people may, I don't talk about this because I really never talked about money, but maybe I really need to address it. You know, I'm, I belong to a couple masterminds and they're 20. I just got one that was 35,000 for the year. Another one that's $25,000 for the year. Another one was $15,000 for the year. That's three of them just for the year. And you're like, where is the value in that? It's everything. It's everything because it's the relationship capital. It's the wisdom, the insight and understanding. It's being around huge thinkers. And that is, and when you see the real successful success, when you're like, I don't get it, it's because they invest so much back into themselves and to other people that that's the level you play at. And I know when I first started doing it, I thought it was insane. I got like almost buyer's remorse. But years later on the other side, you see it was totally worth it. So a $20,000 price tag is not a lot at all, especially from what you're gonna get from me. But what I'm doing is, it's the beginning, you know, this is the first round we'll do, it's the first time for the two days, and I'll give you 90% off, so it's 2,000, and 2,000 is absolutely fair for my time in the day, and 2,000 is a great way to get 10 people that may not have the 20, or may not have, say, Dr. Z, I don't have uh, 75,000 a year to spend in the masterminds, but I have two, and I could, I could get in, and, you're, and the thing is, you know, I'm giving you a chance, and you're also giving me a chance to really shine and, and be in my lane, my new lane, so to speak, my new purpose. And so that's why it's just 10. So the 10, when the 10 fills up, it's, this is not a scarcity thing and hey, call now. If the 10 fill up, you're done. No, it's going to be 10 because I just felt that was the number 10 people. It keeps it just the right size and you'll have a huge opportunity for breakthrough. I'll never do this again as far as just for the 10. Then, then when we do bring back the mastermind, it'll be bigger, greater, you know, bringing in guest speakers, but this will be something very special that you guys had asked for. And uh, so if you are interested, you know, just direct message me or uh, email me at drzano at, a, at not at, at drzano at drzano.com. I got rid of, I don't, I didn't get rid of the AOL, but I'm using the newer email because you guys totally got on me for that. And uh, so if you have any questions, 
just uh, you know, just absolutely, just let me know any questions you have regarding this, and uh, you know, just anything's on your mind, anything that goes. And, and remember, again, this is not something where it is; it's not for everybody. But that doesn't mean that if it, if you're not ready for it, you can't benefit from the Q and A. i have always answer; I've always given you everything I have. But this is for those people that really want in in 48 hours. We really sit there. And we don't just talk about it. See, the 15-minute fuel is we talk about everything, but this is really application where you leave there knowing, I am the hero in these areas, and this is my clear plan, and I'm just going to go for it. And I have the team in front of me. Like, I'm, you know, for me, and I'll just tell you my, my fears and fogs. My fears and fogs are website. You know, my fears and fogs are copywriters. You know, good copy, so you guys get great emails. My fears and fogs are how do I get on stages? So I got to get a booking agent, you know, and, and someone to book this. So, but the thing is, I know the people in those masterminds, they introduce me to people that that's all those things I was worried about. That's their sole purpose. So I meet the person who's like, oh, you're worried about copy? That's all I dream about copywriting. I'm the person for you because I, 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 uh, I copyright. And that's all I do. So it's like, wow, congrats. So it's like you see how it, you unite with those people and, and all those fears and fogs go away. And yes, it does take money to do it. I'm talking about money. I had a patient today. You know, uh, we did a, a doctor's report. And she got the care she needed. She saw her problems. And then as she was driving home, she called and, and, and canceled because she said she felt sick to her stomach. And she was super nervous. She was having a panic attack because she does the whole Dave Ramsey thing. And, um, you know, it was a shame because, you know, if I put your car up on a lift and said, here is the blind spots, you got nails in your tires, your brake lines are leaking, you got a big leak here of something, I don't know what it is, you would never say, yeah, just put it down, I, I got it. I'm just going on a trip for, I'm just, driving, I'm just driving to the desert. You wouldn't. You know, you wouldn't tell the dentist that, right? If, you're, if your tooth and your roots hanging out. Um, People at MD Anderson, when they say your one chemo shot is going to be $40,000, they don't say, they don't bring up Dave Ramsey for that, do they, right? But does your life have to hit a, hit a, hit a point of terrorism, like your car broke down, your teeth, your root of your tooth is hanging out, or you're diagnosed with cancer for you to really take value in yourself, right? So you can't become the hero unless you give yourself the permission to be the hero, and do whatever it takes to do that. And money is potential. That's what it is. That's, that's all it is. It does, and in the bank, it really doesn't do much at all. It creates potential. And that potential, depending on how it's used, will either increase your life and the benefit of others, or it could be used, again, recklessly and, and destroy it. And so what's sad is, you know, when I think of this lady talking about Dave Ramsey, you know, I want to tell her. I mean, but, but someone's like that. I don't fight. I don't chase people. But the thing is, she doesn't know that Dave Ramsey goes into debt <laughs> to sell you his products, <laughs> to put on, to put his stuff on TV and radio. Like, like he goes into debt for that, just to let you know he's not paying cash for all that stuff. I get it. I get, but people don't get it. You know, they get emotionally hooked to a dogma, and that's what a secret identity is. It's fragmented philosophies, and what a fragmented philosophy is is it's a philosophy with truths and untruths. And what happens because of those untruths? We make poor decisions in our life, we conform, we fit in, and we take on the secret identity. And that's the things that hurt when you let them go. Because you realize, for some people, it's like realizing the earth was really flat. Imagine that. Imagine if the earth was really flat, how you would feel. That's how sometimes when people make a breakthrough, that's, that's the emotions they go through. They go, well, wait a second. And you realize for your entire life... Um, you believe something that really wasn't true, but here your spirit and your hero was always looking for truth. That's just an example. So any questions right here, I'm going to go through here and we'll see what we got going on. Hey, Jen, good to see you. Dean Peters is in. Uh, point Z. Tony, hope you have a safe trip back. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Kat, always here. Ashley Mooney, good to see you. Dean, Tim. Okay, so when, when is it? So it's going to be July 21st and 22nd. That's the one and only date we have. It'll be here in the Woodlands, Texas. Beautiful place, nice and hot. Uh, hey Sam, good to see you guys. Hey Jeff, hey Kat, hey Dean. No need to explain the value to this guy. I got it, Dean. Um, Emmett, good to see you, buddy. 
All right, guys. So, any questions? Hey, CJ, good to see you. Any questions on the Hero Mastermind or anything I could uh, anything I could help you guys with? And and remember, I, I love and care for you no matter what. This is not like I'm going to love ten people who who uh, you know sign up for it. You know, this is something that you know. The perfect example. I'm doing it with you. Right? I'm documenting everything. So. So my vehicle of influence is going to be video and speaking and these masterminds. I'm not really one for seminars. Every time I go to a seminar, you know those seminars? You go to seminars, right? And there's a bunch of speakers and the bunch of speakers are pitching something and then it's like three days. And um, I mean, I go crazy in three days. So it's about being congruent. Like I can't stay in a seminar for three days listening, right? But if you engage me, then you have me, you know, for a good amount of time. So I always wanted personal touch, you know, personal interaction. Um, but sitting sitting and looking on stages and people talking, it just, I knew it wasn't me. So I know the model was you have to do a seminar. I was like, oh, I just don't like seminars. Even I did, you know, I, I just, because it, it's incongruent to me, I, I don't like them. So I said a mastermind would be great. I would rather have 10 people where we could sit together, love on each other, touch, you know, we're there. You know, we go through the transition together. We all grow from each other. Um, I would love a digital product, we'll, and the, but we'll, we'll develop one out of this and just doing the videos like we're doing. I think that's really super cool. And we got some other cool projects on the way, but that's, that's the lane. So you're seeing, okay, successful chiropractor, everything was great, grieving my potential, Burnout, depressed, disengaged, because hero and secret identity are clashing. I chose to embrace the hero or let it rise. What are, what are my signposts? I like doing videos. I like speaking. So there's my vehicles. But now what's my message, right? Here's my story. Here's my song. Here's a song that was always in my heart. The song that was rem I was reminded by my children. They reminded me. They woke me up. Because, Pete, you guys don't really realize that, do you? Like, you think that... I just read the definition of hero and I woke up. I read the definition of hero and I saw that was my purpose, but I was 99% of the way there and really what woke me up was, uh, you know, my kids. They woke me up. And it was, it was tough because you know, when you see your kids express their full potential and their hero, it's beautiful. But you're like, you know, there's that part of you that's so holding back. And I remember that first keynote that I did in Utah when I walked on that stage. And I realized that I could let go of that last 1%, that secret identity, and really let it go. And um, that's, why I put, that's why I talk to my son's story, Justice. And I, and I respect him so much because I learned from him. And so this is how we do it. You know, this is what we'll do. So any questions whatsoever, um, you just let me know. If not, you could just, and you know, you could contact me. Just go to, you know, just direct message me here. Uh, you know, uh, just email me at my new email, drzano at uh, drzano.com. And I'll help you any way I can. And just uh, for those of you that do uh, go on the journey with me on this one and we do it live mastermind, then... Will uh, you know your blessing to me? I'll just tell you that, and then we're going to do this together, and you'll be part of that. You know that first that first mastermind that'll really start uh, changing and shifting. You know our message for the world. So we, I just want to thank you guys in the past for who you are. CJ says because you felt the power of the war. Absolutely, hundred percent, hundred percent. All right, guys. Before I turn into a mess, uh, happy Father's Day for you fathers out there. And uh, for you guys that, uh, you know, take care of your kids, you know, for even for your little girls, when you see the queen, you know, don't look at your girl as a princess, see her as a queen. You know, Winnie's doing some work on the, on, on, on the, almost the women hero side of it. And she says uh, she's into not calling women, the little girls, princesses. You call them queens. So start to see the queens in your little girl, see the queen in them. And then get to see the hero and the, and the king and your little boys. And man, let them tell you some stuff. Let them teach you some stuff. And the things that inspire you and them is just the same qualities you had. But life is not life. Life is not an entity. See, I'm doing it again. I chose to um, conform and fit in. Uh, because that's what I thought society demanded of me. And realized that. I never at 40 was able to express the true human and potential that God created me to be. 
And that's what this whole hero message is about. So have a blessed day. Um, happy Father's Day. Have a great weekend. And I will see you guys soon. God bless.